Hi, I'm Megan from MeganPlus5.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute little ghost wooden stake for your yard for Halloween. Um, it's really easy. All you need is um, a scroll saw and some paint and you can accomplish this little guy. So let's get started. So this probably isn't the um, typical type of wood you would use, but I used OSB because we had it left over and I just freehand traced my outline on there. And then you just want to cut it out using um, whatever you have. I used my scroll saw, but honestly a jigsaw probably would have worked a whole heck of a lot easier for this project, uh, but that's okay. This is what I had and this is what I used and it came out super cute. And then just give it a quick sanding. I just use 120 grit sandpaper for mine um, and it works pretty well. And then I use some leftover paint to paint mine all white. And use a pencil to outline the face features. So I'm really terrible at freehanding things um, unless I can kind of map it out. So that's why I always use a pencil. Um, so you just need two ovals for the eyes and like a little swoop down mark for the mouth with some C's on each end of the mouth um, and if you don't like it you can erase it it'll be just fine and if you still see some of the pencil marks that's okay just go back over it with some white paint and then just mark where you want your eyebrows and then the eyelashes to be And then you'll use some white and pink paint for the cheeks and then I use a stenciling brush because it gives kind of like a rough texture to it um, and then just kind of circle around where you made those C marks to make some round cheeks and then you're going to paint over um, like with black for the mouth later. And to make the large polka dots, I just traced around um, like a knockoff version of K-Cup um, and I just kind of randomly put circles wherever I wanted to. And then you'll paint in the inside of the eyes with some black. And then I like to start painting the circles at the very top. That way I don't accidentally get my arm or my hand or something in the wet paint. So um, you just wanna fill in all the big circles with whatever color you want. So I chose orange and black polka dots to do um, a little ghost in because those are our school colors. And I really like to incorporate that into our fall decor as much as I can. and then paint on your eyelashes with black paint. And then take a medium sized round sponge brush and then just make a bunch of random dots everywhere. And then using an even smaller round brush, um, make a bunch of dots in between the big dots and the medium sized dots. And then using the wood end of the smallest round brush that you have, um, make a ton of other little tiny dots everywhere. And then paint in the mouth with a skinny um, brush using black paint. I use paint pens for this step because um, it's a little bit more precise, but you need to make a couple of curved lines, one on each eye, and then on the other side of each eye, you need to make um, a little circle, like that's really close to the outside of the eye, and then a little dot above each of those circles. And then using a black paint pen, just kind of make some like little dash marks all the way around your ghost cutout. And then using your paint pens again, add some little dash marks to all of your little circles. So for the black circles, I used a white paint pen. And then for the orange circles, I used a black paint pen. And 
And since this is going outside, just spray it with an outdoor sealant. And then you're just gonna make a little pinwheel bow for the bow. These are super easy. Um, so you just need three pieces of ribbon and then cut them so that they have a V taken out of them. Um, and then just put them together. Um, so they're just kind of crisscrossing one another. And then fold them like an accordion. So um, you pinch in the middle and then you kind of pinch up the two sides. And then tie a string around the middle. So if you tie it really tight and then you wrap your string about around it a whole bunch of times, it's not going to come undone. And then just put your stick on the bottom so you can stick it in the ground. And I just used my um, Ryobi brad nailer and some Gorilla Glue to attach them. And then I added my bow with some hot glue. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to push the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I post another crafty tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.